out of my head Try to stray Try to forget But the thoughts they seem to drown me instead Hi, hello, and young Remy da Pangasimida. Welcome back to my channel, and if you are new, welcome, welcome. My name is Ray, and if you don't know who I am, that is okay because you can find out more about me here on all social media platforms. My skin type is oily, sensitive, reactive, dehydrated, and depending on the season, it can also be combination. We are back with a new Dr. Syracol review. You know, I did not realize how interested you guys are in Dr. Syracol until I saw my last review hit 10,000 views. That's a pretty big number. Here's a question for you guys. Did you know that grapes are also considered berries? I'll admit this thought never crossed my mind, but it does make sense. Grapes are essentially little bulby fruits with lots of juice, and more importantly, full of antioxidants as well. And Dr. Syracle uses French grapes in the formula because they contain a higher density of a natural antioxidant called, and I need to read this from my script because it's a word I can't pronounce, resveratrol. Res, re, re, res Resveratrol. 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 This antioxidant can slow down the process of aging and reverse sun damage. And of course, long exposure to UV rays is the reason why our skin ages faster than usual. In this video, I hope to share with you my thoughts on these brand new Dr. Syracal products as an average consumer of skincare. Quick note, all the products here today are packaged in glass containers. Here's a little ASMR. On this channel, I review Asian skincare products so that you can shop with confidence. Today's video is partially made possible by Style Korean. Everything I say in this video comes from my personal experiences. As always, I am going to review these products in the order of how I would use them in a skincare routine. With that being said, let's go! Urikaja! First, we have the First Essence. This is an essence that is meant to replace your toner step in your skincare routine. It's a very thick and clear liquid. Do you see that? Personally, I find this to be very similar to the viscosity of Rovectin's Activating Treatment Lotion, aka I believe they now call it the Aqua Essence. This is very hydrating and it does not leave my skin feeling super sticky. And despite its very goopy texture, it actually sits very lightly on my skin. It does have a small hint of lavender scent due to the lavender oil in this product. And while I am not a fan of lavender, lavender oil or essential oils for that matter in my skincare products, I did not mind the lavender oil in this essence. More importantly, the essential oils, which this product does contain a lot of them, did not break me out. What is interesting to me about this essence is that it actually contains titanium dioxide. Usually you only find that ingredient in sunscreens because it's often used as a physical UV filter. So now I wonder what the benefits are for having titanium dioxide in a first essence. If you happen to know, comment below and share your knowledge with us. I can see dehydrated and dry skin types loving this essence. For oily skin types, it's great in restoring hydration so that your skin can maintain its oil water level. If you look at the liquid in the bottle, you'll notice these little air pockets. Those are actually agar, which are high moisture capsules that hold in the resver res resveratrol resveratrol to keep it fresh before releasing it into your skin. And of course, this encapsulation technology is nothing new. Dr. Syracle actually incorporates this technology in a lot of their products already. Another ingredient in this essence is cranberry extract. What's amazing about this ingredient is that the peptides from cranberries perform just like retinol. So if you're not a fan of retinol, but you do want the benefits of retinol, you might want to try this essence. Overall, this essence is slightly above average, so I'm going to rate it a B plus. Is it groundbreaking for a K-beauty product? I would say no, but I appreciated the hydration it gave my skin. My only gripe with this product is that the opening of the bottle is really awkward and it makes the product really hard to get out. But not gonna lie, it's a very pretty skincare product packaging wise, but I will not be purchasing a new one after finishing this bottle. Moving on to the Active Berry Lifting Cream. Similar to Dr. Syracle's Kombucha 
Ultra Gel Cream, this moisturizer is also a gel type cream that contains capsules similar to the essence. The purpose of this cream is to reverse signs of sagging and fine lines. The finish is slightly tacky but not completely sticky. There's a difference. It does not feel very thick or heavy on my skin and I would actually consider this cream very breathable. If you are an oily skin type, I would actually go for the Kombucha Gel Cream by Dr. Syracle. If you're a dry skin type, this moisturizer might be helpful. If you are a dry and dehydrated skin type, I would look for something else. It's not bad in locking in moisture, but I've definitely tried other products that are way more moisture locking. For example, Round Labs Birch Juice Moisturizer is a great option. Haru Haru Wonders Black Rice Cream is also great. And Number Zin's Number 5 Multivitamin Cream is also a very nourishing moisturizer. Overall, I will rate this moisturizer a B plus. It is a bit mediocre, but it's not a bad product at all. If someone asks if I would recommend this product to them, I would. I think it is a great gel cream for beginners who are afraid to try the thicker creams because this product is a good balance between water creams and cream creams. I also think that this moisturizer would be a great summertime moisturizer because of how breathable it is. And I have yet to try this during the summer because right now it is the winter time. So I'm very excited to try this when summertime comes. The last product we have today is the Active Berry Firming Eye Cream. What I look for in an eye cream is very simple. It has to be convenient and it has to sit very lightly on my skin. Unfortunately, this eye cream does not pass the test. But what I did enjoy about this eye cream is how it's really effective in minimizing fine lines. One of the reasons why I'm usually indifferent about eye creams is that I don't like waking up to stinging around my eye areas or even in my eyes. And like I said, this eye cream is no different. Like clockwork, this eye cream feels very heavy on my eyes, especially when I wake up the next morning. It gets very greasy around, I would call this like the eyeglass area. Oh my god, we have to talk about this little application wand that comes with the eye cream. So this product, I would say, is meant to be this ultimate self-care routine product where you sit at your vanity and then you apply the eye cream. But for someone like me who doesn't own a vanity, I just have my computer desk and also someone who doesn't have time to spare like that, this product is is kind of a lost cause. I did not like using this massaging wand at all because I feel like all it did was move the product around. Yes, I know it's meant to be a massage tool, but I feel like I can easily do the same thing with my ring fingers and achieve the same results. I will say the only thing I liked about this is because it has a metallic tip over here, it does have a cooling sensation when I do apply the eye cream. But again, I feel like it's something I don't need. I ended up just keeping this wand in the cardboard packaging and just left it in there. Overall, this eye cream gave me visible results in terms of minimizing fine lines, so it's getting a B minus. I think it's great for someone who is looking to reduce crow's feet and firm up the under eye area. I also noticed a bit of brightening effect for my eye areas, which then restored the glow to my eyes. But the trade-offs are the heavy eyelids in the morning and then the eye stinging overnight. I'm not even gonna factor in the massaging wand in my rating because I know I'm gonna lose it within a month. And that is all for this video. Ultimately, I cannot say that I was blown away by this product line. I think it's because Dr. Syracle already established a very successful and very effective product line in the past. So by the time I tried these products from the new line, I wasn't quite as impressed as I was when I first tried their kombucha products. Thank you Style Korean for sending over these products for me to try. Kamsamida! As usual, I will leave all the product links in the down bar below for you guys to check out in case you guys are interested. Please help this channel grow by subscribing and sharing this video with your friends and family. Thank you for watching and I will see you guys next time, but until then, be safe, stay hydrated, and most importantly, be gentle with yourself. I mean it. Annyeong! Come back for more to see you, to see you, to see you.